that struggle to put food on the table is shared with a group that you might not expect. The cost of feeding livestock in North Texas now feels like paying for a four course meal. Marisa Vedra reports. Then put your heels up. Then there are a million up. things to do. So you got to do this. Put your hand up. See how you're not pulling back to keep a ranch up and running. And one of the most basic tasks has Rosie Oschenbrenner stressed. It seems like that's all I worry about every week. It may be news to you that there's a hay shortage in North Texas, but do any work with horses and you know. There you go. At Healers for Heroes in Plano, they used to pay around 60 bucks for a round bale. Now they're anywhere from 85 to 150. It is a big enough markup that Oshenbrenner's driving to Oklahoma to buy hay for less. It's only an hour, but it it is a better deal. Ranchers are scrambling. And so are suppliers at Wells Brothers Pet Lawn and Garden. On a normal year, this thing would still have two thirds of it. Dick Broussard says two things are to blame. The biggest one is drought. Last spring was too dry, too long. Next is army war, is insects. And what was left was under attack. So what he sells is in very high demand. Up until two weeks ago, customers could come in and buy as many bales of hay as they wanted. But because of the shortage, the store set a limit of just 10 bales of hay per customer per day. When I get some more, and I will be getting some more, it'll go down to five. That next truckload will be from Florida. The next harvest of hay comes in June. There you go, that was good. And until then, ranchers will try to answer an increasingly costly question. How do you make it to uh, June 1st? In Plano, Marisa Vedra, Channel 8 News. A canine officer's